previously on Megmage Watches Star Wars. Yeah. This way. Oh, it's a girl one. Oh my god, I have his ears flapping. Excuse me. <gasps> oh no 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 oh my god disney why couldn't you have made this a ride green god i'm obsessed with this half up there liam oh his hair i don't know how i feel about obi-wan's hair oh her hair is so cute oh my god her outfits I mean, all of them have amazing outfits. I love that outfit, though, because it's like goth queen. Am I going to cosplay every single one of her outfits? Yes. Oh my god, that outfit. I kind of love Qui-Gon. I really like him. Sorry, I think I've been saying Qui-Gon. Qui-John. <laughs> Qui-John. And where the fuck is Anakin? Are we going to meet Anakin? Oh, that's got to be Anakin. Are you an angel? Oh my god, he's so cute. Stop! He is the star. Everyone loves him. Anakin makes it three PO! Balance. Prophecy. Oh, I want to be the first one to see him all. Stop. This hurts. This hurts. Fuck you, George Lucas. Why do I sense we've picked up another pathetic life form? The only pathetic life form I see is a little ponytail on the back of your head. <laughs> Well, what a relationship. The start of a relationship. Darth Maul. Darth Maul, me daddy. Oh. I'm confused about these politics. Listen to him. I don't trust him. He's probably the mm, emperor. She's a good ass queen. Here is the path of the dark side. He's a child! Yoda! I am ready to face the trials. <laughs> he's kind of a piece of shit, but he's evil. <laughs> the Vitorians are a microscopic life form that resides within a perfect That's so cool. Oh my god, please. Shush. I'm trying to hear my midi chlorians. This is crazy. We are in complete control of the planet now. Good. It could be him. It could be Senator Palpatine. I'm sending my apprentice. But he Dark looks Maul weird. My him. apprentice. Yes, my like the guy under the hood and also the emperor in the original trilogy. He was like melted. And those two control the pitch. You catch on pretty quick. Everyone loves him. Except the fucking Jedi's. <laughs> the treaty. I agree. She has to be I'm emotionless. Sure it's so sad. I will take back what's ours. Beautiful outfit. We have no army. And I can only protect you. I can't fight a war for you. Yeah. Jar Jar Binks. Lisa, your highness? Yes. See, she's listening. I need your help. And she wouldn't know this if she didn't go out and see. She's an amazing leader and she's trying her best. I don't know where her parents are. I mean, they would have had to die, right? If she's the queen, but she reminds me so much of like indigenous and ancient cultures that are just wiped out with, you know, trade federation, money, greed. There's a reason why there was that greed message at the beginning. I'm sorry for my behavior, master. It's not my place to disagree with you about the boy. And I am grateful you think I'm ready to take the trials. This makes a lot more sense. I foresee you will become a great Jedi Knight. This makes way more sense because he's pissed. It's an I told you so from Obi-Wan. It's not his responsibility. He did not insist on training Anakin and yeah. The Gungan city is deserted. Oh. Some kind of fight me said things. They changed again. Please tell me that's Liam Neeson's hair and not a wig. Please, please, please. Guys, please don't break my heart. Have you worn wigs? <sighs> Don't break my heart. My heart. Queen Amidala of the Naboo. I know, I think that's gonna be her. Yeah. 
To be fair, sometimes I really can't tell if it's her. I'm Queen Amidala of the Navi. Um, I come it's before not. you in peace. Yeah. Sometimes I really cannot tell, so I understand why they can't tell. I am Queen Amidala. Huh? This ah! is my decoy. <laughs> yeah. My protection. Decoy. My loyal bodyguard. I love that. I'm sorry for my deception. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to be so smart, you idiot. They're like, we are not that smart. The Trade Federation <laughs> has destroyed all that we have worked so hard to build. If we do not act quickly, all will be lost forever. I ask you to help us. No, I beg you to help us. Aww. We are your humble servants. Our fate is in your hands. <laughs> <laughs> Even in her own voice, like they, they believed she was the queen right away. <laughs> She's bowing out of respect. Like yeah, yeah. Maybe it's very respectful. Lisa. Mm -hmm. Being friends. Yeah. <laughs> Seeing the Emperor's thought process is let's just wipe everyone the fuck out. And she's like, no, let's respect them. This is an unexpected move for her. It's too aggressive. Oh. Lord Moore. Be mindful. Lord Maul. Let them make the first move. Yes, my master. His face painting is so interesting because it seems like the Sith are also ancient, like the Queen's people. Good, they made it. Oh, I love her outfit. I'm going to cosplay all of her outfits. Jar Jar bring Usen and the Naboo together. Uh -huh, no, no, no. So, <laughs> we shall make you Bombard General. Oh. General. Oh. Your Highness, the Federation Army is also much larger than we Her hair, too. This is a battle I do not think that we can win. The battle is a diversion. The Gungans must draw the droid army away from the cities. R2, we can enter the city using the secret passages on the waterfall side. Without the Viceroy, they will be lost and confused. What do you think, Master Jedi? The Viceroy will be well guarded. So smart. There is a possibility with this diversion, many Gungans will be killed. We are ready to do our part. No. We have a plan which should immobilize the droid army. We will send what pilots we have to knock out the droid control ship orbiting the planet. A well-conceived plan. However, there's great risk. The weapons on your fighters may not penetrate the shields. And there's an even bigger danger. If the Viceroy escapes, Your Highness, he will return with another droid army. Mm. Well, that is why we must not fail to get the Viceroy. And while droid army is like, it seems like the easier, faster, more plentiful army, I feel like there has to be weaknesses because it's not real people. It's not real soldiers. No offense. But I am telling you right now, that motherfucker. That motherfucker back there is not real! Wipe them out. That's a solution to everything. It always has been. And I didn't even realize the weight of a droid army. Like, that just is so symbolic of armies like his. Regimes like his. I wonder if we'll get to the point where we're also fighting with robots. I mean, we fight with nuclear weapons, bombs, so... <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, wait. So Avengers, is it Infinity War or Endgame? Marvel just copied Star Wars. I feel like Anakin could figure out a way to like mess with their like their commanders, their code. Are stormtroopers people or robots? Wait a second. Wait a second. Yeah. I love that he's just running around with them. Got a blaster. Yeah. You told his mom that you would fucking keep him safe. Quigon. Feel. Don't think. Hey, hey, hey. I'm gonna have to talk about this a lot with Caleb. I have a lot of questions, man. <laughs> Sorry. Will I'm scream. Oh no, that's not cover. That's not cover. Don't think. R2 on the fucking back of the plane, like with Luke. Are you kidding me with that? 
Are you kidding me with that? I'm so upset. <laughs> How dare you, George? I may have gone too far in a few places. Oh my god. It's like, it reminds me of like fast food butcher, like a McDonald's chicken killing factory. They look like chickens, like product. It's actually really sad and really scary. That's so many. And just time. Oh my god. Ouch time. Everybody this way. Hey, oh, so there's her me. bodyguard. Anakin, stay where you are. We're oh, I thought he was gonna fly it. I... Stay in that cockpit. You don't okay, he's gonna stay in the cockpit and then fly the fucking plane. Hello? Hello? Oh. We'll handle this. We'll take the long way. Liam Neeson is tall, isn't he? Oh, taking off their capes. Oh no, that's not fair, okay? That is not fair. R2 is the original babysitter. Oh, he has spikes on his head. A twin blade? A twin season? They need two Jedis for one Darth Maul. Oops, wrong one. Maybe this one. Oh, he didn't make it, so it's gonna Wait, be tricky. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, this wouldn't have fucking happened if you brought the mom along. You wanted her to stay a goddamn slave. Um, try to override it. <laughs> Honey. Oh. Yeah, no, this is not. Oh, this is not the Obi-Wan Darth Vader fight. This is so cool. This is me and Caleb fighting all the Elden Ring bosses. <laughs> it's true, actually. This is some of the best music I've heard so far. Wait, who made that moan? What was, who, who, who did that? Who made that moan? I would die if one of the robots did like a robotic Willem scream. And they probably won't, but Caleb, could you make that for me in the edit? Could you make a robotic Willem scream? Look, there they are. Why are you in space? <laughs> Please get this child a proper caregiver. Jesus Christ! Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Nice. Okay, wait, his clutziness is actually helping now. Actually, sorry, I don't know if that's Jar Jar. I think it is. Sorry. This is tense. <laughs> Bro went to fucking. You get us off this autopilot. It's gonna get us both killed. You did it, R2! Thank God, R2 saving this child's life. Why not told me to stay in this cockpit? So that's what I'm gonna do. That's a smart ass kid right there. I'll try spinning, that's a good trick. It's a miracle he's alive. It's a miracle that Anakin got that far. Okay, I just wanna throw this out there too. Jedis are the worst goddamn parents ever. You were right. Please do not trust any more children with the entirety of the Jedi Council. You're right again. They should not be allowed to have children. Nobody wants to see innocent people harmed. <laughs> oh. Ouchie. Oh, no. Ugh. Did Yoda treat teach you the pull and the... Yeah, pull yourself up. Pull up time. Yeah, exactly. Yes. He did not skip pull day like I usually do. He's not going to die, right? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. I have the twin blade in Elden Ring. It doesn't glow red, though. Oh no, you're gonna watch him die, aren't you?
He's so scary. Is he ready to die? I can't, sorry, I can't tell if they're in the same force field or if they're looking at each other through a screen. Uh-oh, Klutz, Klutzen. Klutzen, Misa Klutzen. You suck Klutzen. Oh my God. Oh! Oh my God. Plasma grenades. Okay, did Halo take a lot of this stuff from Star Wars? Be honest, y'all. I mean, I feel like a lot of things took a lot from Star Wars. I love that she's leading them. They win this ride. Do they really want the queen alive, though? I mean, maybe for now. I don't know. <laughs> 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 Goodness. Everything's overheated. Oh, Oops, honey. Not good. Oops. God. Oh, he was just meditating, maybe, or like tricking him. Okay, go, 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 go. <sighs> Shit. I don't, I don't think that he's gonna make it. I hope he does, but. So then maybe that explains why he trains Anakin out of a responsibility and trying to honor him. That's really sad. Viceroy, your occupation here has ended. Perfect. This one's a decoy. Aha, I love her. I love them. Like shout out to, to the two of them. I want more backstory on her decoy. This shit's so cool. I would love to play her as a character. It's kind of like, wait, is that like Sh Sheik and Zelda? Yep. Oh my God, he's so creepy. Why? <laughs> Does he paint his face like that or is that his skin? <laughs> oh yeah. But he's angry right now. So he's gonna use maybe the dark side because he's pissed and he's grieving and he's scared. Oh, <gasps> shh. Fuck. I also wonder if Yoda and the other Jedi Council people saw this happening and they still led Kui John to his death. He has no fear. Well, he does have fear. This also is not the force. Nothing can get to our shield. <laughs> Except a little child. Have y'all noticed that Jar Jar Binks and Annie are kind of on parallel journeys? Because Annie is just a little kid and he, his klutziness and his impulsiveness are actually saving everyone. And Jar Jar does have a more childish <laughs> nature. <laughs> Yep, What's Jar Jar and Annie. What's in they doing? <laughs> they all broken. Oh, <laughs> yay! <laughs> they all broken. Okay, yeah, this is bad. Uh, why aren't the Jedi Council helping? Could you imagine if they we had all of them in that fight? I can only imagine. Oh, oh, he has a lightsaber. <gasps> oh, okay. Was that the dark side? I feel like that was using the dark side. Promise me you will train the boy. Oh, fuck. Yes, master. He is the chosen one. He will bring balance. No, I think the chosen one is Luke, maybe. So, I mean, you still had to train him for Luke to be, to exist. Do we think that Darth Vader is part of the prophecy? Like that was supposed to happen and then Luke was the chosen one, which is really sad 
if he was just a pawn in destiny. Or maybe he is the chosen one. Or maybe it's both of them. I don't know. But I think that's we the are Emperor. indebted to you for your bravery, Obi-Wan Kenobi. And you, young Skywalker. We will watch your career with great interest. So if that really is the Emperor, that is so sinister. With great interest. But agree with your taking this boy as your Padawan learner. I do not. Grave danger, I fear, in his training. Mm. I gave Qui-Gon my word. I will train Anakin without the approval of the Council if I must. <gasps> Qui-Gon's defiance I sense in you. Oh. In that you do not. Your apprentice, Skywalker, will be. Mm. So where does the name Skywalker come from? Is it, was it his mom's? Oh, You know, that's so much like... Anakin's funeral. Oh, wow. So is that for specific for Jedi's? Or is it just what they do for everyone? What will happen to me now? Oh. Council have granted me permission to train you. You will be a Jedi. I promise. Oh, this music. There's no doubt the mysterious warrior was a Sith. Mm. Always true there are. No more, no less. A master and an apprentice. But which was destroyed? The, master the apprentice. Or the apprentice. The apprentice. So he needs a new apprentice. Slay! No! Does he have a ponytail? He has a ponytail in the brain. Obi Wan, no! Why? Why? Holy shit. Why did Obi-Wan do that? Maybe it's a tradition. Okay, it's I'm probably being a bitch and it's like Jedi apprentice tradition. She's so pretty. Oh. So good. Holy crap. That was so good. Guys, I think that was hinting that last shot that Palpatine is the emperor. Not the, sorry, I'm using the word emperor. He's not an emperor yet, obviously, but he is the guy in the hood. And yeah, is he using a decoy too? Like her? Is he like learning from her? I don't know. Or maybe he told her to. I'm interested. In, I don't know if it will go into it, but I am obsessed with her character. I would love to know about her parents. I would love to know who taught her that. I would love to know about her training to become queen because this girl is amazing. I really want to know how old she is too. I would guess like 14. She's so mature for her age and it's very similar to Anakin. And the reason I think why it reminds me of Katara and Aang is because I think there could definitely be a later romance because I do know that Hayden Christensen was announced as Anakin for the second movie. So I'm also kind of sad that we won't see that kid again. I don't think, well, maybe there, there will be flashbacks or something. It's going to be Hayden and they're going to be older. But I think of Katara and Aang because Avatar, you know, the last Airbender spoilers, but they do end up together. Katara is older than Aang. I'm not sure what the age difference is, but I mean, if it's like three or four years, that it would just be very interesting if that's the mother of Leia and Luke, because just when I saw her with the blasters with the gun and how capable she was. And then remember what Leia said in Return of the Jedi. She was like remembering that her mom was kind and oh gosh, what was it? And kind of sad, I think, kind and sad. She was very beautiful, kind, but sad. So this is like pretty devastating because you know where it's going and you know it's really bad. Like it's it's hard to dance and celebrate and you know that the empire does take over the emperor takes over i mean a lot of that has to be destroyed and ruined and it's so rich in culture and stuff but i'm still so glad that i'm watching it this first time in release order apart from the newer ones but they don't count guys i can't tell you like the, the newer ones don't even count in this i just have to view them as something different because they're so like they don't compare even with this one they don't 
compare. I am glad that I'm watching it in release order because it's such an interesting viewing experience where you like, you want to know more of how it got there and you know what happens, but you really wanna watch the before installments, if that makes sense. I just think it's pretty genius. I think it's really smart and I'm really glad I'm watching it this way. That was so good. And I think that if I were to like, pick up a Star Wars movie to watch again, I would watch that one over, I don't know, like out of the four I've seen, I would rank that like two or three. Empire Strikes Back was so good, but like, I think that might be my second favorite. It was just, I just loved the actor who played Anakin. I love Natalie Portman. I love, I, there were just so many characters I, I adored. I feel like Jar Jar really gave that humor, but also he's so lovable. And I meant what I said. I think that Anakin and Jar Jar were on similar journey. Well, not journeys, but like they show different, the similar traits in that they're youthful, whether they're literally youthful or personality in essence and the clumsiness, intuitive intuition and, you know, these happy mistakes actually end up saving everyone and it's just so not what I expected from this movie. I watched or I saw the teaser poster for this and it was the shadow of little baby Anakin and then the Darth Vader shadow. And I just thought it was going to be more serious. I thought it was going to be a kid who was really traumatized and low mood, brooding, not like other boys. But this makes it even more devastating because he's so full of life and he's so smart and has so much potential. And he's so cute and everyone loves him. Like that's the thing about Tatooine. Like everyone loved Anakin. And I don't know if we can even say that about Luke. Luke had friends and he was very lovable. He's really charismatic and he loved his people and his droids. And he's one a million percent his dad's son, which is so cute. Oh, so cute. I wonder how many mitochloridians Leia has and Luke had. Um, just He's just was so sweet, even as a slave and so resilient. And I think that has to do with his mother. And I know I talked about it way too much and people are probably pissed and they're probably like, well, think about what uh, Queen, Queen, John, Queen John couldn't have done any, do not done anything about it. Like he had to bring him in and couldn't free his mom. I just refuse to believe that. And I do think it's purposeful. Like, I don't think it's just George Lucas following the story. I think that George Lucas is following this, the Bible story and this religious tale of like the chosen one on purpose for us to form our own judgments on how is this okay? Because this chosen one prophecy of it being this child that's given to the world, so similar to Jesus, like, you know, Mo I think it was Moses. Sorry, I said this last time and I don't think it's true. Abraham, whatever, giving a son, this virgin delivers the kid and then is never spoken about again. And I remember realizing that so I went to Catholic school and re thinking like, well, whatever happened to Joseph and Mary? Like, fuck them, I guess, right? I didn't think that as a kid, but I was wondering, you know, what about Joseph who did take care of baby Jesus? And what did God actually do to raise baby Jesus? Except be like, you have to be sacrificed. Sorry. Like, I can already sense the judgment from the Jedi Council, that they do not like this kid. And I understand they're awake and they see, like they probably see Darth Vader and they probably know there's a lot of danger there. And so they don't even see the kid, but it is kind of sickening as an audience member who is suspending disbelief. We know what happens and we know it's Darth, but like how many of us can say that we would just like be that rude to a child if we knew it would grow up to be that. Like if you knew that you could maybe change the course of action, because it's already proven that destiny isn't written in stone and it can be changed. I just have a lot of problems with the way that the Jedi Council treated him, the way the, they continue to treat him and just kind of throwing up their hands up in the air and being like, you shouldn't train him 
because uh, wouldn't you want to intervene if it still frustrates me? And so my instincts of being angry with Obi-Wan and Yoda specifically, I think were valid. You know, I'm trying to avoid comments and stuff. I know you guys know more than me. I will say like, it's not that I, I hate the council or I'm like, to you know, totally against them. I think they're bad people. It's just who I am as a person that it's a kid. And I think if you're gonna be a master or Jedi, it's hard for you to see the human, but I do. <laughs> it makes more sense why Obi-Wan went down the path he did and why he separated. It's actually kind of sad to think like he separated Anakin so much from Darth Vader when he said, that's my truth. I think it's 100% gonna be his truth because he's almost gonna be like a big brother to Anakin. Like they're gonna grow close. If he's that young, it's pretty sad. But I'm just, I'm very curious to learn more. I can't wait to watch the next two. I can't wait to see Hayden, oh my gosh. And this movie was just really, really good. I love Padme. I love that her queen voice is, is lower and it's almost like she uses decoys to trick people and also kind of prove that queendom and the queen as a figure is a metaphorical crown that can be passed and it's what she wants it to represent for her people. Like you can already tell she's such a good leader already. And of course, this uprising, these people are gonna want to overthrow her cause she is so powerful. And then representing this Republic and city that has just so much culture and everything. It does really remind me of right before the fall of a beautiful civilization, seeing the huge statues, the colors, the outfits, you know, it's it's certainly on purpose. I love I really did like Liam Neeson's character and I loved his acting. And in terms of a, a master Jedi, I thought he was awesome and funny. And I loved his hair. <laughs> and I just think he did a great job. I of course have my issues with Kui gone with the mom. I know I say it a lot, but I wonder how much of that is a product of this very strict Jedi. They said something like Tenet or Creed or something. You know it's doomed. And like, I just, I'm so curious. I'm trying to think of anything else. I'm pretty sure it, that's why I talk a lot in the reaction so I don't forget about it. But I love that so much and I can't wait to watch more. Oh, thank you so much to my dear four patrons, John G. Robinson, Louie, and Light Agami for producing the video. Thank you to all my other patrons and YouTube channel members for supporting me above and beyond financially to keep this channel afloat and allow me to watch a bunch of Star Wars in a row. Thank you. It's been such an exciting deep dive into it. And I do plan on, you know, watching all the other stuff as well because this even seeing all of this stuff, I'm like these prequels that I, I love this time period in the Star Wars universe. And I would love to keep exploring this time. And of course, to all of you who are still watching my journey and being sweet and, you know, just so supportive. Thank you so much. I'm having the best time. Um, I love you guys so much. And I hope that you can be well, young Padawans. Oh, I also can't wait to learn more about Siths. That's so crazy. They're so secretive. And then the Jedis are more open. I'm very excited. Anyways, I'll see you soon. Love you. Bye.